Hello everyone, Windy City Comic Books. Um, I'm going to go over this magazine sized comic book. Um, it's called American Splendor and it actually first came out in 1976. Um, it's actually just an autobiographical uh, but, you know, autobiography uh, comic books written by Harvey Picar, P E K A R, um, just about his everyday life in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. It just covers stuff like, you know, his car troubles, health concerns, money troubles, and other anxieties. And he actually incorporates, like, people he knows and his uh, girlfriend and all this other stuff. Um, they're actually underground comic books, so there's, like, nudity and adult themes and blah, 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 blah. Um, but anyway, I was really surprised at, like, how popular they were. And I actually, I mean, I've had the books forever, but I didn't really think that, uh, I don't know, I didn't think that much of them. Um... So this is actually, his first issues were published, uh, 1 through 16 was ish, or, uh, published by Harvey Picard himself um, from 1976 through 1993. They're really sporadic as far as the issues coming out. And then Dark Horse took them over in 1993 through, through 2002. And then Vertigo Comics picked it up again in 2006 and published them until 2008. Um, all my books are actually published from the first run from the original Picard, except for I have one issue by Dark Horse. Um, this is actually number nine. It's kind of creepy looking. This is actually what he looks like. And this is number 11. And number 12, he's on uh, with Late Night with David Letterman. And it's actually interesting because he actually really had um, a lot of appearances on Late Night with David Letterman. And if you go on uh, YouTube and actually just look up, like, you know, David Letterman, Harvey Picard, P-E-K-A-R, um, all these videos come up. And it's actually really entertaining. And they actually mention these books and how he writes about them and writes about his life and whatnot. He's a pretty entertaining guy. Uh, a little strange, but I think it was kind of an act, you know, on the Letterman appearances. Um, but I was thinking about that, like if today, you know, any kind of like movie news or, you know, hey, this is guy, this character is going to be a movie, like how popular and how expensive these books probably would have shot through the roof just because he's like making David Letterman appearances, he's talking about the comic books, etc., etc., etc. But anyway, this is what I'm going to say, 12. It's actually got a big tear on the top, but otherwise, kind of neat. Number 14, here's another uh, David Letterman cover. Number 15, there's actually a whole variety of artists that actually worked on uh, these issues, including like Robert Crumb, who's, I mean, Hall of Fame uh, underground comic book artist. You got Alan Moore, you know, worked on them, Richard Corbin, you know, among others. And in 2003, um, there was actually a film adaptation that came out uh, featuring Paul Giamatti playing Harvey Picard. And uh, it actually was nominated for an Academy Award, but lost to Lord of the Rings Return of the King. And it was a number of, uh, they actually had like a number of theatrical uh, productions too. So he was like on uh, Broadway, or like the topic was. But the movie's actually called American Splendor. And I uh, didn't realize it was that good. I may have to pick it up and check it out. This is number 16. I think it's the last Picard issue I have. All right. And then number 17 is the last one I have. And this is actually when uh, Dark Horse took over. So there's like the little uh, logo there for Dark Horse. But, yeah, you know, something a little different than their typical uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 and all those other issues that everybody knows about. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for joining me, Windy City Comic Books.